Hey guys, Waterfaller41 here, and in today's video, we're going to be looking at my wife's 2021 Hyundai Palisade, and we're going to be replacing the current floor liners with some from Smartliner. But before we do that, I wanted to go ahead and take advantage of the fact that I could do a comparison between the factory floor liners, the WeatherTech ones we have in our car now, and ultimately the upgraded uh, floor liners that we're going to be putting in there from Smartliner. So if you've been following my Instagram for a while, you know I'm pretty ticked off at the quality and the coverage of the current floor liners in the car. Fronts are fine, you know, they are what they are, but the rears are what drives me nuts. And when you have two kids, it is really important to make sure that if you're gonna have floor liners, they actually line the floor and protect it. So here is an overview of the unadulterated, so I didn't clean up anything here. This is right after a road trip. I think we had a hockey tournament this weekend, and then the kids had a couple soccer games. So here are the current WeatherTech floor liners in there, and you can see the biggest issue right now is curling. So it's curling on the outside as well as right up here. And my kids are relatively short, so their feet dangle. When they have muddy shoes, they're gonna kick them. And what happens is all that mud falls down in there. Now I did clean the car a couple weeks back. Uh, I vacuumed out the floor, and that's when I posted my original Instagram post. But I did wanna show you these installed and the lack of coverage when they are quote unquote floor liners. So you got curling here, curling here. Now we had these similar ones in our Ford Explorer and they did the exact same thing. I did not purchase these. These came with the car when we bought them through the Costco program, but I knew in due time they would end up curling and it was gonna be time to upgrade. So I posted a couple questions on Instagram not too long ago and you all recommended looking at the smart liners and there is one thing that I absolutely love about smart liners and we'll get there in a second. But just wanted to show you how bad these floor liners get. And my favorite part, they're floor liners, yet here are all the stuff that gets kind of dropped in between that curl and the carpet. So no matter what, I'm still stuck with vacuuming out everything and everything gets underneath there. If you can't stop a goldfish, don't call yourself a floor liner. Also, we have third row seats here. So the third row here between the rear and the front or between the third row and the second row are not connected. And that's a big deal because that's one of the advantages that I'll show you real quick with the smart liner stuff. But let me get these pulled out of the car, cleaned up a little bit, and then we'll do a side-by-side -side with the OEM Hyundai floor liners, the WeatherTech, and then ultimately the smart liners, which are what we're gonna be installing in the car. All right, before we go any further, in advance, I wanna apologize because that tree is in full bloom, as is that tree, which means these white little petals are getting all over the place in my garage and are getting all over the floor liners that I'm trying to do a review on. I know presentation is everything, so I tried to sweep everything out, but the pedals keep blowing back in, so it is what it is, we're gonna go with it. So I have the OEM Hyundai all-weather floor liners, I have the WeatherTech floor liners that came with the car, and then I have our new Smart Liner floor liners. So I have these arranged, and what we're gonna do is take a look at the fronts on all of them across the board, and then we'll take a look, uh, a look at the rears as we go across the board from OEM to WeatherTech to Smart Liner. Um, when I'm looking at floor liners, Two things that really come in mind. One, obviously a floor liner is gonna to need to have the best coverage possible. And I want the best coverage for the best price. Um, so let's keep that in mind as we go through this because it's very interesting what you get for the price um, by the time we get over the smart liners. So let's first take a look at the front floor mats on the Hyundai. And by all accounts, the Hyundai floor mats, the WeatherTech ones and smart liner, generally speaking, have the same amount of coverage. Um, it really comes down to looks, which ones do you like better? And if I'm gonna have, let's say, Smart Liner or one brand floor liner in the front of the car, I wanna have the same brand floor liner throughout the rest of the car. I want some consistency. So when they are all the same, it comes down to looking at other variables in comparison, but we'll get there in a second. So we have the OEM all weather Hyundai Palisade. They obviously say Palisade, they hook into the factory connection points. You got two on the driver's side, one on the passenger side. Same thing on the weather tax. You got two that they clip into, and then you got one on the driver's side. Um, not as bad of curling on the fronts, but you can see they're starting to do it here uh, on the back of the floor mat. Um, again, which is not uncommon for these. We had these in our Explorer, the same ones, and they started curling like crazy. So you can see that one's starting to curl here on the front as well, or on the back of the floor liner as well. So now we get down to our smart liners. Same thing, you got the two factory connection points as well as the single on the passenger side. Coverage wise, the passenger side pretty much matches the WeatherTech as well as the OEM floor liner, all weather floor liner. They have maybe minor differences from a coverage standpoint. Looks like this has middle of the road coverage. This has the most coverage up the passenger side and that has the least coverage. But the driver's side, 
probably has the same. So I think the WeatherTech and the SmartLiner have the same exact coverage. So that's important to you. That is one of the uh, comparisons across the board. So like I said, least amount of coverage on the driver's side, and then the WeatherTech and SmartLiner are tied for about the same amount of coverage. So like I said, front floor liners are about the same across the board. So it really comes down to the rear floor, liner, floor liners. And if you got a three row SUV, you obviously are gonna use the back of the truck and you're more than likely have kids and you wanna make sure that the coverage is good. So let's dive into the second row floor liners because that's where the differences start to come out. So the OEM all weather floor liners are two pieces. You got a left side and you got a, or I'm sorry, you have a left side and you have a right side and they are split in the middle. Split, which means all that junk that's gonna fall off shoes is gonna get through. Anytime you have floor liners, you wanna keep them in as few pieces as possible. So with that split there, that kind of sucks and it kind of defeats the whole purpose of having all weather floor liners in the back, especially in an area where you have passengers that aren't necessarily the most careful with snowy shoes, snowy boots or anything like that, or muddy soccer spikes or whatnot. So OEM ones are split in the middle, leaving some area exposed. WeatherTech, um, it's all one piece across the hump in the floor, but like I pointed out earlier, super curly right now. And we've had these for maybe a year and a half at this point and the curl is just ridiculous. I've tried popping them inside out, I've tried heating them up, but at the end of the day, they just keep curling, and what happens is they'll curl so far back that all the junk and everything that falls off their feet when they're sitting in their car seats is gonna drop in behind there, basically meaning leaving no purpose to having floor liners if they can't line the floor. So we get to the smart liner, and this is where the major difference comes in and the reason why I went with smart liners over anything else right now and getting rid of all these guys. The second row is physically attached to the third row. And I like that for two reasons. One, um, when the kids are hopping in the car, they have a tendency to snag their foot on here. So WeatherTech uses Velcro to hold things down. This Velcro doesn't work at all. That gets snagged. It's constantly getting shifted all over the place, leaving more parts exposed. Same thing with the Hyundai one. It's two pieces, which means this part's flapping all over the place and the kids have a tendency to get their shoes or whatever boots snagged on it and flip it up. So we're not gonna have the curling issue because smart liners do not have that issue whatsoever. It's just these guys. But the second row and third row are physically attached, which means you're gonna get the best coverage in that walkway between the two captain seats. So we have captain seats in the um, Palisade, seat there, seat there. And the kids, for whatever reason, always wanna sit in the back seat when they got friends and everything. So. We wanna make sure that that has the best coverage and the second row is attached to the third row. Okay, so from a coverage standpoint, you got probably the best amount of coverage because they're connected here and they're gonna give you the best second and third row coverage. Um, not attached, looks relatively similar from a coverage standpoint, ignoring the fact that it's not attached. It's probably the same amount of coverage as SmartLiner here. And then the OEM has just about, maybe a little less coverage on the third row as well. And then the second rows, the OEM ones are split in the middle. The WeatherTech's all a solid piece that curls up on the edges for whatever reason. And then the smart liner is attached to the third row. So from a coverage standpoint, where we need it the most because we have our kids in the car nonstop, this is where it's at. So winner here, chicken dinner. That said, let's talk about the other important thing. So I said, I want the most amount of coverage for the least amount of dollars. So Looking at the OEM ones, and I had to write down the prices here. So these are the OEM floor mats, and the MSRP on these bad boys is $330. So that's driver side, passenger side, second row, and third row. $330 if you were to buy these from Hyundai. Going over to the WeatherTech ones, these are $260 as you're looking at them right here. So it's the front row, it's the second row, it's the third row. But if you wanted to get a cargo liner, so the cargo liner that fits with the third row seats folded up, that would be $370 for the entire kit. And I bring that up because we have a cargo liner here and I wanna bring up the price there. So 260 as you see it, but if you wanna add the cargo liner, $370. That's a lot of coin for floor mats that do that. Last but not least, we have our smart liner system. So if we look at the front row and the second and third rows and just look at those by themselves, that's $165. If we group in the cargo liner, which we're gonna take a look at in a second, the total cost is $255. So we are over $100 cheaper than the WeatherTech and way cheaper than the OEM one. 
but we're getting a hell of a lot more coverage with the smart liners. So let's get these guys installed. But like I said, we went ahead and while we were picking up the smart liners, I uh, went ahead and picked up the cargo liner as well. And this is the shorter one, which is the one that you use, you use when you have the third row seats folded up because you have a smaller cargo area. So this just give us a nice uniform look and nice uniform coverage of the smart liner material all throughout the car. So installation is super simple. Um, fronts are gonna clip onto the factory post. Passenger side is gonna clip onto the passenger front factory post. The second row also has a factory post that the front, the second row floor mats are gonna clip into. And then this section just drops into place. Let me go ahead and vacuum all the crap that these guys didn't stop out of the car. And then we'll go ahead and get those uh, smart liners installed and take a look at the coverage. All right, so our floor liners are installed. You see they tuck up nicely up against all the plastic trim here. And I like these with both front sides. When you put them in, you had to really push them down. And when you push them down, they stay down. So they press up against the sides very nicely. Uh, no fear of curling or anything like that. Looks like they touch the carpet really good up on the back side of everything. They clip into the factory post. Couldn't ask for anything better on the front here. So they go up that dead pedal quite a bit uh, just in front of the gas pedal. And then they got all the coverage in between right up next to the center console. So let's go ahead and take a look at the passenger side. All right, so just like the driver's side, the passenger side, when you push it in, it really does stay put and everything. Nice tight fitment, Fit, attaches to the factory post here. Looks nice, gives you all the coverage you want. Goes pretty high up here, as about as far as you really need it to go. But let's take a look at the real winner here. And that is the rear liners. So the rear liners, tons of coverage here no more fear of them curling on the sides where all that crap's gonna fall off of my kids shoes and spikes onto the carpet attached to the factory post and it has that little center area that covers all of the carpet perfectly it's still a little uh, um, popped up a little bit because of the it was folded in the box and I didn't let it warm up enough but it will eventually but it does cover everything the only thing it leaves is exposed is the rails which you want exposed so you could slide your seat forward and backwards but that coverage continues into the rear, up underneath the seats on both sides, and could not have asked for any better coverage. These are awesome liners, and at the end of the day, for 165 bucks for first, second, and third row, how could you beat it? So let's take a look at the rear and call it a video. All right, let's take a look at the rear liners, and there we have it. So again, this is the liner that covers all of the flat area when you have your third row seats folded up. So you can get another view of the center protection. Again, the biggest plus with these over any other floor liner is the fact that the center, the second row and the third row are connected. So you have no exposed carpet whatsoever. And this happens to be the highest traffic area for whatever reason in our car. So I wanted to make sure I had the best protection and that's why we went with the smart liners over any other liner. All right, well that about finishes up our smart liner comparison installation video on the 2021 Palisade. Hope you all appreciated the side-by-side -side of these guys versus OEM versus WeatherTech. Again, for 255 bucks for first, second, third, and cargo area, you cannot beat the bargain uh, that these guys are. So I will leave a link to these in the description below, but definitely check them out. Um, if you're looking to improve the coverage on your Hyundai Palisade, these are definitely worth checking out because by all accounts, they are the best option at the most affordable price out there. But with that said, thank you very much for watching. Take care.